Rabbit, I invited you to the lobby. Please and join. Joining. Let me, uh, oh, there he is. Uh, let's find the map that we're playing today. I'm trying this new audio thing where the microphone is so close to my face so I can cancel out some of the controller noise when I'm clicking. D d is it working? Do I sound like I'm in your ear right now? You sound slightly erotic. How hard are your nips at the moment? They can cut fucking diamonds, dude. Alright guys, uh, first things first, I gotta get this out of the way. I did play this exact map with Turbo, and I'm gonna link that video because I feel bad playing it with Rabbit and not uploading the Turbo version. The reason why <laughs> I'm not uploading this map, uh, the reason why I'm not uploading the video with Turbo in it is because my audio is really screwed up. I really fucked the pooch on that one, it was bad, but uh, hopefully uh, you guys will still enjoy this. Anyways, Rabbit, are you back? And black hey, from hey, your vacation. Hey, Tim, 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 Tim. Yeah, I missed you. Wait, where were you? I, I, I think you told me. Where were you again? I forgot. I had to fly to an undisclosed Asian country to catch a virus and then come back and spread it. I didn't. I'm not. Now I didn't say that, but I'm not gonna, also not going to deny it. We Anyways. could use a couple million people dead. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? It's, it's good. It's it's good. What happens when you live in a country where you eat everything that moves? And you know what? God bless the Chinese people, love you and all, but, uh, speak, you know, stop eating bats yourself. and other animals that shouldn't be eaten, because that's how you catch diseases, dog. Can I say thanks for resurrecting me, by the way? That was a pretty noble deed you did when Wait, I died. What are you talking about? When you died? Oh, yeah, I replaced you with a couple people. I know it was time. hard to sacrifice those childs, but thanks for doing Childs? <laughs> I, I really appreciate yeah. it. So we got two options, the B23R, an absolute classic, and the Revington over here. I'm going so. with the 1911, man. Pick your poison. This the store is five thousand points. If we want to get into the actual hallway of death here, nineteen eleven dead hallway. It's uh, five thousand points, my friend. I don't need no guns. I do. I am not afraid to swallow my pride. I'm gonna grab the B two three. I'm too big of a man. I don't. I just use my fucking my 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 cunning wit and charisma. <laughs> my intellect will get me out of this. Okay, situation. not that. <laughs> I can guarantee you I'm out. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a gun now. He's getting close. Temp, temp. Thank you. Dude, look how many dead bodies we got around here. This is almost the amount that Tim sacrificed to bring me back from Lucifer's sex dungeon. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. I'm actually waiting for Chinese food right now. My dad's grabbing it <gasps> while I'm recording this, so hopefully it doesn't get too cold by we're done. You're gonna will take get a while. the coronavirus. What do you get when you get Chinese food? I usually get rice, orange chicken, beef teriyaki sometimes, two nukes. Is that really necessary? Hell yeah. Hey, now. we're talking about China, not Japan here. We don't need two nukes. Jesus. So, Rabbit, welcome to the undead hallway. I'm liking it. You've got a couple of perk machines that you can't prone under and get points, which is just a major turnoff. But it's what we're dealing I, with. I, I bought Deadshot. We're good. Really? Yeah. You only bought Deadshot? It's the only perk I need, Tim. Did you not see the challenge video? I lasted longer than you, so I think I know what I'm the doing. The challenge video where I, I think got glitched I know what I'm doing, zombies, Tim. I the zombies killed me than you. through the glass and didn't even get into my... Yeah, I remember that. It was total horse shit. So I was talking about it with Turbo, and I was thinking, maybe we could do a part two and three and four of that map. We could do it with different guns, because we had an SMG version on that last one. Maybe we could do it with shotguns and the snipers <gasps> and the assault rifles. That. And yeah. that would be a really cool series where we could just Can we do shotguns different guns? Next? I would love nothing more. I don't know. What, what what shotgun would you roll with? The double bubble shotgun. I maybe would want like a, like a spaz or something that has a lot more ammo. Or not more ammo, but... Uh, is... More shots than you have to before yeah. you have to fucking reload. Whoever picks the Haymaker or KRM is cheating. Brecky. I'll pick or the Brecky. Or the Brecky. Nah, that's not as good as those two. Black Ops 3 has some cheating. nice shotguns, I will say. You know what's annoying is when I play this with Turbo, I got the Blundergat, the Ray Gun, and the Thunder Gun, and I guarantee you this game I get none of those fucking things. This is awkward, Tim. This is this is very awkward here. Oh, good God. This is awkward. This is just, oh, oh man. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, gonna die. I got your back, oh. dude. Thank God, you are, you are. Uh, you could just call me daddy anytime, man. I don't want the PDW. Do I look like a pussy? Yeah, you kind of do, quite frankly. Yeah, can't argue with the truth. Which perks should I get? I'm gonna grab double tap. That seems like a good investment. That shot. Bear shell. You thirsty, partner? There we go. Hell yeah, boy. Hey, I got a Sagawa gun that you're really gonna enjoy. Oh my God. <laughs> what have you done? What kind of sorcery is this? Witchcraft. If this was Salem, they would have killed me by now. If you're not doing anything in your life that would have gotten you killed by the church hundreds of <laughs> years ago, are you even living? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go spin the box again and hopefully get something a little bit better because the Olympia is a pretty good weapon, but not really. So hopefully uh, M16. Okay. Let's recap a little bit. What happened this week? What was what was your highlight of your week? 
Uh, when I got on a plane and my entire row was empty, and then this old couple decided that they wanted to sit next to me, and that kind of ruined that. Oh, wow. That is that is the worst. I right? feel so bad for you. That is terrible. The row in front of me was empty. The row behind me was empty. And you have to you have to buy your seats, and it shows you, like, who all... Like, what seats are open? So this old couple purposely sat next to me for some reason. That's such a pain in the ass. You know what happened one time is I sat down next to this old, this elderly couple, and I said, hey, how's it going? And they just looked at me with disgust. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow, okay, I won't be fucking nice, Jesus. We're gonna have a long flight, aren't we? Were you in the uh, aisle seat, or where were you at? I was in the aisle seat, yeah, yeah, and they were both sitting there, and they both gave me this look of disgust. I was like, I just said, hello. I looked at them back, I'm like, fuck yourself then. Well, that's All because right. when they have to go change their diaper, uh, they have to ask you to politely go. They didn't get up once the entire trip. Oh. They both fucking fell asleep in the first 30 seconds fucking of the flight. Fucking boomers! I, I, I ended up watching Pineapple Express, which is an amazing movie, by the way. One of the best movies of all time. Very good. I was watching that, eating some Chex Mix. You know, they offered me some, uh, some Diet Coke as a nice little refreshment. And... That was the most miserable flight I've ever taken in my entire life because what ended up happening was I had to piss the entire plane oh. ride. I had to piss so bad, and you may be wondering, well, why didn't you go to the bathroom? Well, I held it in... It's awkward sometimes. ...for a while, until I really had to go. But by the time I really had to go and couldn't hold it in, they said, Ladies and gentlemen, st please stay seated. There's a half hour left in the flight. You can't get up. So I couldn't get up for the last half hour of the flight. That's and when that's you just piss in the aisle, establish your dominance. That was the longest half hour of my entire life, dude. When you have to piss, you have to wait an entire half hour. Oh, oh my god. Fucking suck. I was miserable. I literally I, I peered over to my dad in the other seat and I said, Dad, I'm actually gonna piss myself. There's no way. I'm actually gonna piss myself. The minute the plane landed, you weren't supposed to get up. I got up, I bolted, I <laughs> knocked over a bunch of people's shit. I bumped into a few guys. I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I sprinted up there. Out of the oh way, my god. Grandma. I was pissing for like what must have been an entire minute straight. Aren't those like the best peas ever though? It's almost painfully good having like to orgasm. piss that long. That is the worst feeling in the entire world, having a full bladder to me. I would rather, I think I'd rather have paper cuts all over my hands. I think I'd rather get a paper cut every single day for the rest of my life than have a full bladder. Worst feeling in the world. Yeah, it's pretty much up there. If I have a full bladder, I can't concentrate on anything. Not a single thing. That's all I can think about. And you can't, like, move that well either. Yeah, it's you're awful. Just, you're just, like, literally handicapped. I don't know how my dad does it. He's a fucking camel. He holds that thing in all day. It's like, jeez, what a trooper, huh? With Widow's Spine, you're mine. Please. I should do ASMR, shouldn't I? <gasps> well, I'm satisfied. I don't even want Here the blunder gat now. I don't even feel special. I'm just fucking turning this bitch in. I'm hoping for a blunder gat or a ray gun mark three or a ray gun mark one. You're gonna get PDW. Or a ray gun mark two. Damn it. An MG08. Okay. All right. Hey, hey, hey. The gun I got in the turbo game as well. I got you, buddy. What have you been up to as of late? We haven't. I feel like we haven't had a, like a girls' night out in a while. I've been. Doing college stuff and Ew. YouTube stuff and those things combined. Get a real so. job. I'm doing just fine for myself, thank you. <laughs> Taxes are coming up. Are you excited uh, for that? I'm so excited to pay. You got the Mark II? No. What the heck? I was just. I thought. I thought I saw the Mark II there for a second. Yeah, fucking crazy. Why would I have the Mark II? Just stupid. You're supposed to disclose that when you're doing your taxes, whether or not you have a Mark II. No, I don't have that. I've the MG08 is definitely one of the best. <laughs> Here I am talking about how good the MGO8 is. <laughs> I've seen a lot of dick. <laughs> Death machine, baby. Uh, you motherfucker! <laughs> Dude, the janitors are gonna be pissed. Yeah, we met. We are leaving quite the mess. There's blood everywhere and limbs. That's good. Jesus. That's so bad. Imagine having to mop this up. We Ugh. have the exact same amount of kills. I gotta beat you. I gotta get the most kills. Oh, do you? Oh, do you? What the shit? Oh, That's not you? fair. I'm gonna upgrade me uh, MGO8. Let's get that in the, in the oven right there. Ooh. I can, it smells good. Yeah, it's a uh, dark dark matter camo. Ooh. Get one of my butt. That's how we do our thumbnails, lads. <laughs> that one's for private use. Well, I went to Florida. I bought a Luger. I got a new toy. Dude, sweet. Back to school shopping's already done, dude. Honestly, when you posted that, I thought that wasn't a Luger. I thought that was a Mauser for a brief That's moment. what everyone thought it was. Got the best gobble gum in the game. You feel? Let me pop this bad boy. What'd you get? Let me show you how it. Do Let me show you how it's done. That crawl space. 
women. Hey, I got those monkeys. too. You want to touch monkeys? Uh, oh, by the way, guys, uh, I'm not going to make an official announcement video. Those of you who are watching this, those of you loyal fans who are watching this will get the inside scoop. Okay. Yeah. Rabbit and I are going to be starting a Minecraft live stream series pretty soon. Hell yeah. Follow our exactly only fans. Sure. Yeah, that too. But more but, info. Uh, more importantly, our Minecraft survival series will probably start pretty soon. Probably next weekend. Not this upcoming one because I got stuff to do, but... Next weekend, or maybe during the week, I don't know, but we're gonna start a live stream series. I'll have the face cam and everything for that one. Hell but yeah. Get excited for it. Minecraft is a great way to branch out into other types of content, since I like playing it anyways. But I wouldn't be straying too far away at the same time. It's still pretty close we're to We're gonna build zombies. the most epic Minecraft village ever. It's gonna be pretty spectacular. We're gonna have a you guys brothel. are gonna love it. I'm trying to get me blunder get. Mm, trying to get to me million dollar. Ray gun. Okay, well, I'm getting the same setup they had with Turbo. I got the Ray gun, the Thunder gun, and the MG08. Now all I need is a Blundergat to fulfill it. I got the Olympia. Okay, you were alive in the 90s, so I'm going to exclude the 90s Hammer for this time. question. But if you had to visit one decade in the past century, which one would it be? Uh, World War II, as long as I don't have to be Jewish. Um, wow, Jesus Christ. You'd rather fight in a world war than go to, like, the who's, 70s or who's something? Who's the fuck I was fighting? But your boy Lucan. Oh. I ain't fighting. Your boy about to rob people. <laughs> I would say probably the 70s or 80s would be cool. Probably the 80s, because you'd be a little bit further past the Cold War and Vietnam and everything. But, yeah. Uh, no, but you choose the 40s. You go fight in World War II for no reason. You say fight like I'm actually going to do that. Fuck <laughs> no. I'm deserting the first chance I get. And I'm just going to go steal a bunch of shit and then bring it back. If you actually got drafted into the military, like, now, would you serve or would you go to prison? I'd serve because I don't think I'd really fucking do anything. I would serve. I feel like if I rotted in jail being a coward, I wouldn't be able to live with myself anyway. I mean, it's not like wars are fought like they were anyway. They're not going to be like, hey, five foot eight retard. Go out <laughs> to the sand and start shooting people. No. They're gonna tell me to go clean like a bathroom or something. Being short doesn't exclude you from fighting in a war. Listen, by the when way, when we when we send out soldiers, we want our best to impress. All right. Actually, the taller you are, the worse off you are because if you're so tall that your head sticks above the trenches, you're gonna get shot right Listen in the fucking head. When we send soldiers to countries, we want to intimidate them. They're not gonna be intimidated by a fucking five foot eight midget. <laughs> That's not even that short. That's an inch off of average. That's Listen, literally normal. Do any of your other people you play videos with? do this or are they good noodles just be totally uh, overtly racist no, whoa really. racist no Sec my bad yes you're not a racist you're just an extreme nationalist to the point where it seems like you're racist but you're not that's racist. more accurate yeah. you know what we should do we should just state rap lyrics but normally talking <laughs> you know lyrics for white people yo shawty it's your birthday we're going to party like it's your birthday. All right, here, I try to guess what song this is, all right? It's a rap song. Right, try to guess it. Go ahead. Yeah. No! No, he's had my face the lyrics. That's got a text saying, we're fucked by my friend. I'm scared. What are we oh. fucked by? Your AIDS test came back. It's positive. CNN breaking. CDC orders the closure of all U.S. airports in the wake of coronavirus. Oh, that's awesome. You know what? I'm so glad that that's what's happening because people are too fucking stupid to quarantine. They don't want to. I don't want to stay in quarantine because I'm sick. I'm just going to go out and fucking spread it. If you have a disease or a virus and you purposefully go out and spread it because you don't care about others, You're I hope you burn in hell. Fucking retarded. Fucking asshole. That's genuinely fucked up. No. Like, just I'm, purposefully trying I'm to kill people. Shit. I wouldn't even do that. I'd be decent enough to go out into the woods and just die like a man. Yeah, if I had a virus, an incurable virus, then what I would do is I would quarantine myself and make sure that I'm not spreading it. Or is that too much to ask? Just, like, go fucking in a cave and just chill for, like, a couple days until you either die or get over it. Be a man. I mean, people do like to do a lot of fear-mongering and get people riled up and because, you know, news stations want ratings, so... Nothing better than to scare people and get them to watch how their country's about to die, so... Yeah. I, I wouldn't be, like, too worried, but I'd be worried. <laughs> not too worried, eh. but, uh... Keep an eye open. I survived the bird flu, Ebola, any other stupid pig swine flu. I survived all that shit. What do you want to happen when you die? What's your ultimate version of, like, heaven, quote-unquote? Uh, the Christian heaven? Where, like, you basically so get anything heaven? you fucking want? All wow. I know is I want anime thighs wrapped around my face. Jesus Christ. Are you religious at all? 
Uh, my family is Protestant, and they have gone to church. I've gone to church. Do I actively practice religion? Like, do you Not believe really. in God and shit? I believe in something up there for sure, but what what it is, I mean, I don't think that'll ever be clearly defined. It's not some fucking old guy with a bathrobe on, that's for Aww, fucking sure. That's the coolest one, I mean, let's one, be though. real. Well, I'm not saying like, it doesn't exist, like, but I'm not shit. saying... Bench is like 500? I mean, you never know until you die, right? So, what's the Alright, <laughs> let's kill like? ourselves. Let's fucking do a temp- Before this coronavirus gets to us, let's kill ourselves and find out what happens in the afterlife. And if there's nothing, well, I guess... That's the end of it, right? Fuck me. Are you gonna, like, before on your deathbed, like, start praying to every god? Like, imagine- no. I, I'm gonna do that. Just to double my chances of going to the good, good place. <laughs> that would be disingenuous, wouldn't it? They don't fucking know! I think they do. They if they're all-knowing and all-powerful, they can read your mind. No, they're retarded, Tim. You just refer to the gods as retarded! Death to me is something that I'm- as I get older, I'm becoming a lot more accepting of and understanding more, but it's just scarier and scarier as Dude, the days go on. But, I'm already fucking know, terrified of that shit. Yeah, I mean, I understand it though. I mean, you know, everything has to end at some point. You know, if a movie was forever and never ended, it wouldn't be a movie. So, I think the same thing applies with life. Without death, there is no life. If life was just infinite and forever, then, you know, it wouldn't be life. It would just be torture, honestly. So you sort of need death. But hopefully something happens when we die, though. If you went to hell and Saint was like, all right, you get to go to heaven if you suck my dick. You gonna, I do you it? gonna suck the devil's dick? I think I would have to. I think I would, too. And I would just stay there. Wouldn't even go to heaven. I heard there was a case of the coronavirus in a town next to mine. Oh, nice knowing you, dude. Honestly, can't I just sort of, like, chill in my house and not go anywhere? I mean, how does it even spread? Does anybody even know that yet? Or I don't know. I, I, I'd imagine it's a lot like the flu. So by coughing and saliva and stuff like that. If you just chill at home until this thing passes over, I mean, can't you just sort of be okay? I don't know. Kind of hoping like an apocalypse situation sort of happens. That'd be fun. I'm scared of a zombie apocalypse, honestly, because shows like The Walking Dead have encouraged us to be just total savages and just murder each other. Like, how much zombie action actually is there in that show it's just Barely. other people killing each other i mean that's that's what it boils down to like it just shows people killing each other and turning you know the bad guys other. in those shows that would be me hey come on man that was what i was trying to get this is the third time i fucking you're, had this uh, you're a boner hey look Tim. i don't deal with all that bullshit go get him go get him go yeah. get him Tiger. oh hang on kill joy no pick it up rabbit pick it up what? rabbit pick ah, it up. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> why would you throw the monkey back here <laughs> I panicked. Him. They're Sorry. already running in this direction. <laughs> this MG08 feels a lot like World War One. Not that I experienced World War One, but ah, oh, God, that's gotta it's be one of those things. Like, one to be if in. I if I could imagine what World War One felt like, it's that. I mean, Ooh. I've played Verdun. I'd pretty much, ex you know, think. It'd be yeah, we got it down. Honestly, it was so predictable that we were gonna have a plague. Every twenties of each century, there's a plague or a disease or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it was bound to happen. It was inevitable. What do you think is going to eventually kill the humans off? Uh, probably the sun... Distri no, I think maybe just a lack of resources. I was about to say, you think we're actually going to last that long? We'll never have a war that kills us. No, I don't oh. think it's going to be a war. Oh, please tell me. Please tell me. It's Power Vacuum, the most overpowered gobble oh gum in the game. God. Look at that. Jesus. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. <laughs> Let's see how many we can get stacked up. Sometimes I want to die. Like, if that was just real. Do you ever get those weird <laughs> thoughts, like where you're driving, you're like, "What if I just turned right?" I get so scared of this. Someone else is gonna do that to me, where I'm driving and they're just like, "Up, oh, I'm just gonna turn suddenly and kill us both." Or like you'll be like walking down the street and you see a semi truck. Like, what happens if I just jump in front? Of I mean, the, the only thing that keeps that, you man? alive on the highway is the mutual agreement that you're not gonna play bumper cars. <laughs> yeah. There's so many fucking drops. Damn true. Oh my god! You, you ever just, wanted to just fake your death and move to Ukraine and live your own life by yourself? Yeah. Just take all the money you have. I feel like if you took all, you know, US money to Ukraine, you'd move like a fucking king. Honestly, vacations in other countries, traveling is really cheap. Like, you could go to somewhere like Indonesia or some third world country, but you could find a really nice pocket in that country and vacation and live like a fucking king. I mean, if you had like a thousand dollars in American, I mean, Jesus. Your goal? The amount of things you could do. I'm just afraid to go to any non- country that's America and Japan. Well, thank God America's one of the biggest. And we have everything in here. Like, you want to see rocks? We got that shit. You want to <laughs> see plants? We have those. <laughs> that we do. Uh, we have uh, politics and paper plates and 
we have every you, know. you want to see Asians we got some of those want to see whites Trump, we got whites. trumpets and and moose and deer and small children we have it all yeah you can get any, anything you want man this is ridiculous maybe we should just pull the plug all right I'm saying just grab we're gonna die as soon as we do this get rid of your water weapons get rid of my Ugh, I hate this it makes get me feel so sad rid of your wonder weapons Timothy I got the m1216 I got the Uzi, and I got the AK-47. And nice. what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of Power Vacuum. Yeah, you might want to hurry that up. Uncle Gal. All right, let me throw one for us as well. Eh. And I'll pack a punch of the AK. Well, hopefully it's called the Reznov's Revenge. If it isn't, I'm going to throw hands. What's it called? It is. Okay. Perfect. I just realized these are advanced warfare zombies. Are they really? You notice that? I just noticed that after all of this time. I just saw that they were zombies. I'm oh, very. You, you, do, you don't discriminate, observant. right? No, I don't. Tim, I, I only I don't see color. Kind of running low on the ammos. That's all right. I got crawl space. We're good. Oh, that, that makes me feel so much safer. Oh, Tim, I got a confession. Oh no! Tim, when you were sleeping, I kissed you. Ow! No! 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 No. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to both of us. If you don't subscribe to both of us, I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna kiss you. Do we have any closing statements? Chuck E. Cheese delivers pizza. Do they? They do. I did not know that. I've never I even been didn't to know either. Until <laughs> yesterday. It's like a '90s babies thing. Anyways, guys, have a phenomenal day. I gotta go. Love you very much. Whoa.